Well, good morning. This is another day here at the Twisted Knot Woodshop. Today is Sunday, October 6th, and it's around oh, 11 o'clock, 10.30ish. Uh, Bob is here helping me with uh, this uh, metal on the facade. We've got all the siding that was previously up there torn off. There's a pile there, the pile over there underneath the um, scaffolding you can't see, and there's little sorted bits down here. So uh, what we're doing right now is pre-drilling the holes in the metal so that all the screws across, you know, as you're standing down on the street there, uh, when you look and you see all the screws in a row. So we're going to start with that center section and work both ways. And uh, you'll see, I'll pick this camera up here after we get a, a, uh, most of those center sheets up so I can show you how we're going to transition from that first drop this way and then carry on from there this way and then again here at this lower section. Um, all the metal is pre-cut. Uh, I ordered it that way so that it so that the bottom of the metal is um, uh, just about the top of that gray line of the shingles there so that you know those shingles up above will be the flashing and I think it's going to look and go pretty fast, or look nice and go pretty fast. I'll stand over here in the scaffolding and you get an idea what I'm talking about there. That, that gray line right there is where the bottom of the tin will be. And uh, so the pre drilling of the holes will allow us just to stick the sheets up there, find the hole, throw a screw in it, and then move on. So I'll pick this camera up in a bit and show you uh, what's going on. Talk to you in a while. Bye. Okay, here we are back. It's just a oh, hardly 15 minutes maybe, and uh, Bob and myself have got three sheets up here on this larger section, and we're working. The idea was to uh, work from the center to the west in this case, because that notch that you see there, that other board that drops down, is going to hide that. Uh, that little ridge there you see and then it'll be at the bottom so it's gonna you know the board will be vertical so it'll be at the bottom of that part over there and then that notch and then the board is actually going to extend over the edge of the metal rather than cut the metal so close um, and then not have to deal with uh, you know with this with this rib here so that was the reason why we started in the center so Bob just got done drilling the panels for the next sections that we're fixing to put on and we'll show you that here in just a little bit and then finally the three foot section over there where Bob is standing so we'll um, pick this up here in a bit and then you can see how nice and tight the metal is up there on that bottom of that uh, corbel bracket I mean the corbel the mounting board uh, so it's looking pretty good. We'll see what it looks like here in just about another hour. Talk to you in a while. Bye. Alright, we're back again. Uh, Bob had to leave and uh, go to the house and do a couple of errands. <clears throat> so in the interim here I'm kind of policing up the area and taking things away that we don't need anymore. And You can, uh, we got one half of let me walk over here. We got one half of the uh, west side of the facade done there, and the if you look at the bottom of the metal there, you can see how the shingles wrap up on the on the facade wall, and then therefore the bottom tail of the tin there comes down and creates a well. Well, the shingles would be the flashing, and then the tin just rides over the top of the shingles, creating a, a water barrier. And um, I'm stepping over stuff here on the roof that we're using. And uh, now that we've got to this point, uh, you, <clears throat> you can see where those little spaces there are uh, will be for those other boards. The same color board there will come down and stop right there at that line and then same thing over here and then uh, again like I said the white 
trim up I don't know if you can see it the white trim up there will come around and then, then wash down there so everything ties together oh here comes Bob and now we got the east side of the half to do and we're gonna do that right now and it's about till one o'clock we should be done in oh less than an hour and uh, ready to put those boards you know for the drops and then I'll, I'll deal with that I don't need any help with that business so pay attention and uh, we'll see you the next time we talk to you bye well good morning this is another day here at the Twisted Knot Wood Shop. Today is Sunday, October 21st, and I'm back on the roof working on the facade. This is the first time I've had a chance to get back on it for a couple of weeks. Uh, <clears throat> the last I showed you is we were stripping off the siding and we were putting on the metal, uh, Bob and myself. And uh, well, we finished with that in just a couple of two and a half or so hours. And so I'm back up here. Uh, the other day I uh, had some time and I came up here and I put the metal on the top cap there so that it goes all the way around, up and over, and all the way over to the other side. And you can see how the, the metal here has like a little, little kick out there so any water hits it'll just, you know, flush off this way instead of having a chance of capillary action uh, pulling the water back underneath the cap so it'll drip out here. And I still got to fill in this corner. I'll have some brown metal and I'll cut a piece so that it fits in that corner there and and hide that uh, bit of nastiness. And so I'll, all the drops are in, um, painted the same color as the as uh, the other boards surrounding it. Uh, the only one that's different is the upper one. Uh, that's a uh, the same color as those brackets. And uh, so all, all the drops are in. So the last half hour or so, I've been. Uh, busying myself with um, doing the trim, uh, the carrying on trim, the white, whatever color it is, um, around the the deal there so that, you know, it carries on across with the rest of it. And I did, I did, <laughs> I've done the two upper ones, uh, the highest ones, and now I'm over here working on this west end, um, west side I should say. And I got the parts cut, and they're gonna go up in there, and then and then kill out down there at the bottom of that um, mounting board there. And I should be done here in just a little bit. Uh, I've got some um, minor issues where the rough sawn lumber has has some uh, you know the rough edges, and rather than join everything and you know put it nice, since it's gonna be painted, so I got some caulk joints there. Let's come back and touch. Uh, that's paintable caulk and um, come back and touch it up with paint uh, down the road whenever I uh, think about it hard enough. So uh, I'll pick this up here in about, oh I don't know, I should be done in about half hour, 45 minutes maybe. I only got these two on this and then two on the other side. So, so far it's looking really nice. Uh, uh, we'll pick it up from maybe down on the ground after I clean up all of this uh, construction debris and such and tear the scaffolding down and and then the place should look pretty darn spiffy. We'll talk to you in a bit. Bye. Okay, uh, we're back, and it turns out that uh, I'm clueless what the date is. Um, I walked in the shop and found out it's October 20th and not the 21st. And uh, it's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and I had to stop and go take care of a couple of things. But about uh, an hour ago, I finished up all the trim, the the, that goes around those drops and everything like we was discussing before and the only thing I have left to do is to go up there with paint and touch up the the caulk lines like you can see that white line there and then the one that's vertical there um, between the joints of the board so that the the color is all the same and then touch up the screws uh, you can see one shining right there in the in the uh, almost the middle of that board but um, so I'll do that tomorrow, um, and I got to wait for the caulk to set up. I can't go up there and paint that; otherwise, it's just going to smear. So it looks really nice. Um, well, I think uh, it's exactly what I had designed and what I had in mind uh, when it was finished, what it would look like. And uh, I have no uh, 
no reason to suspect I should have done something else because um, it all uh, works nicely and then we've already got uh, plans figured out for the porch area down underneath there. It's, I don't know how dark it is if you can see it much but I've got an idea of essentially the same metal up there but different kind of a presentation down there and as soon as I finally, finally make up my mind on that then I'll you know maybe show that later on but there it is and that's the last video I'm not going to take another one um, so this series is complete and I thank you for watching and if you ever have an idea of doing anything like that then maybe this will give you something to, to work with talk to you later